My name is Alex Platt, uh, 25 years old. I ride for Proper Bike Co, OSS Clothing, S1 Helmets, and Garden Bike Shop. And uh, so I'm here um, telling you the story about my head injury uh, that happened in Barcelona, which is coming up on about four years ago. I was there visiting um, a friend, Julian, uh, staying in northern Barcelona, which was going to be prior to a ride to glory trip with Proper. We had this spot that we go to every day, every morning, every night. It was this bank into this galvanized steel um, wedge bank that had this awning at the top of it. Starting to fuck around with dull peg stalling the awning. I had in my mind I wanted to ice pick stall it, and I went up the wedge with like way too much speed, caught my front peg, and then just sent myself 10 feet up, 12 feet up, straight to my freaking head and back, whatever, and onto brick. I guess I got up, was talking, bleeding and drooling blood, and totally angered. I was fucked, I, I was out of my mind, like didn't think I needed help because I felt knocked fine, or I don't know what you describe it. I went to the hospital. First thing I know, I'm waking up. I guess it had been like eight days. They had had to put me in a drug-induced coma, swelling from, uh, you know, my brain, hemorrhaging, broken occipital bone, my lung collapse, bronchitis, pneumonia, kind of like blurred. Going in and out, drugs that they have you under, I just started to, you know, dream. My dreams became like a reality in a way, which is just unbelievable. It was just all mumble jumbled into this just like massive just stuff and dream and fucking unbelievable. I guess they were finding me, ripping everything out of me, and finding me in different places in the hospital. Went from 185 to 105 pounds, four pounds. Had no equilibrium, you know, look at the wall, oh, it's closer, close, bam, there it is. You know, I was determined that I was pretty much okay. I had my mind, all right, I'm fucking gonna leave this place. It's, fuck these people, they're crazy. I, I had no real grasp of what was really wrong with me. So I just looked at, you know, the IV, unscrewed it, and just, you know, put it back. So I was, you know, butt naked, hospital gown, 18 inch IV still in my arm. Walked to the end of the hallway. All the nurses had their backs to me. Elevator door is still open. I get on the elevator. Walked out of the hospital, down to the metro. Walked probably like, you know, four blocks, five blocks. But it took me like an hour and a half. I had to switch arms, the bag. It was like so weak. Like showed up like 7.30 in the morning, like knocking on Julian's door. Carlo from Power you know, ended up showing up and visiting me. And from there, Carlo uh, let me recover in England until I was allowed to fly home. I got home and uh, it was wild. I was stepped back from like the immediate of like what had just happened in Barcelona. Like it was confusing because I didn't know whether what I was remembering was what I was really remembering. I had no taste and I had no sense of smell. I had a seizure. I couldn't drive. It was always like this wonder of how long it was going to take me to like get back to the way I was. But what I was was used to, like get that back and you know go from there. Right? I didn't really have an equilibrium actually back fully until I rode my bike. All of a sudden I had balance again. It was weird. You know, by the end of summer, I was like, kind of started to like, like started the road trip thing a little bit and like, yeah, I can still ride and, and was back riding on a road trip with proper exactly a year from the original injury. Probably original, the original feeling of like being able to really feel like I could do it again was actually just before that trip. Um, this capital wall ride in uh, Connecticut. And uh, that was probably the best feeling ever. Just unexplainable, just being you know, like, damn, I can still do it. So, you know, from there on, just kept going and kept it rolling and whatnot, and uh, got my balls back. God damn. Right, so, one of the things that I'm still kind of fascinated with was the scans that I had from Barcelona, uh, which is the, you know, the original CT scans from my accident. You know, I ended up with putting um, the scans on this hat, and uh, I'm fucking stoked to come back from it and be able to ride the way I did, and it's like the effort, everything that went into it. I wear a helmet now. It allows me to get up, and this hat kind of symbolizes that, because it's what happened. I got lucky. Still having a good time with friends. Still doing the, you know, what I was at one point, so. Hi, my name is Alex Plantastic, and I'm gonna jump over this fence today. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supported me over the years. 
helped me through my ups and downs and <clears throat> still support. Uh, the special thanks to Proper Play Co. and uh, Adam Graham Mason, Mike Mastroni, Devin File, everyone back home, my family, Jeff Martin, S1, you know, Jay Elling and the support of the Pittsfield crew, that whole riding scene, and the guys in the garden. If it wasn't for everyone's help and just the support and just having every, you know people around, and, uh, it, it was a huge help to everything, and I couldn't thank you enough. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. So it's, uh, it's a memory now, so it's pretty cool.